Hello, class. Hello. Hello Hi, good evening. Hi, Carlos mm -hmm. and Silvia. Hi, teacher. Hi, good. how are you today? Hi, very good. Ah, I'm really happy to hear that. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Okay, don't forget to have your cameras on, please. Cameras on. There we go. Your cameras on. So, uh, you know, class, veo ahorita que me está este, diciendo su conexión es inestable. Cualquier cosa eh, está a punto de llover por acá, pero lo mismo indicación, ¿verdad? Siempre nos mantenemos en clase. Yo trato de ingresar incluso si es posible con los datos de mi teléfono, pero cualquier cosa puede pasar. Así que igual ustedes, si cualquier inconveniente les surge por la lluvia, internet, siempre notifíquenlo en el chat para estar pendientes por si pasamos la asistencia y no están presentes en el momento. ¿okay? Eso le iba a decir porque se le había frisado en cierto momento. Sí, me vi la notificación que decía su conexión es inestable. But don't you worry. Hopefully, we're not going to have problems in today's class. So, what time is it? It's eight o'clock already. So, what day is it today? Today is... Thursday. Thursday, right. Thursday, remember that... We only have classes from Monday to Thursday. So it means that this is class number eight, second week. Imagine time flies. Ya vamos por las semanas dos, clase ocho. Nos queda exactamente la mitad del curso. So, let me ask you, did you check the platform? Did you go? Did you answer the exercises in the platform? Yes? Yes. You did. Okay, excellent. So let me get ready with the platform. Okay, I'm ready now. So let me see, I already have how many students? 15 students already. Okay, 15, I'm still missing like 10 students, but it is time to start with this class. And I'm going to ask you, yesterday we had a new topic. So do you remember the topic from yesterday? What were we practicing yesterday? What were we practicing yesterday? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. We were making questions mm -hmm. in English. Wait, what type what, of question? Wait. W H question, question right? Question, question which? Uh -huh. And we were also using the verb to be. W H question mm -hmm. with the verb to be. And the examples that we were using yesterday um, are like these ones. What's your name? Where are you from? Okay, how are you today? Who's that? What's his name? So those were the examples from yesterday. Let me show you the examples so we can remember about what we were practicing yesterday. Look. What's your name? Where are you from? How are you today? Who's that? How old is he? What is he like? Who are they? 
Where are they from and what Rio like? So those are the examples that we were practicing yesterday. Okay. So let me ask some of you. Vamos a preguntarles a ver si se acuerdan la estructura. ¿Cómo responder? WH questions or statements with the verb to be. So, veamos. Entonces, eh, let me ask you. Silvia, where are you from? Where are you from? I am from the Salvador. Okay. Jocelyn, Yvette. How old are you? I am 23 years old. Very good job. Uh, Jenny, Jenny Elizabeth, who's this? Talking about the teacher, who's this? He is my teacher. Okay, great job. Um, Karina Alejandra, what's your last name? Mm -hmm. What is your last My name? last name is Aquino. Excellent. Catherine. Catherine Jasmine. What is your cell phone number? Uh, my cell phone number is 2994809. Okay. okay. Noemi. Yeah. Where is the teacher from? Where is the teacher from? from? Salvador. Okay, excellent. Ruth Elizabeth, where are you from? I'm um, from El Salvador. Great job. Esperanza, how are you? I am fine, thank you. Excellent. So you see, all these questions are examples of WH statements or WH questions with the verb to be. Okay? So whenever you listen to these questions, now you know how to call these questions. Ahora cuando las escuchen, ya saben cómo se llama. Okay? WH words or WH questions with the verb to be. Excellent. So let's start the class right now with a different topic. As I told you, this is class number eight. And remember, let's have your cameras on all the time. Cameras on, please. So vamos a ver qué nos toca ahora. According to the platform, Today, we need to finish with section number three, because on Monday, we are going to start with section number four. So the topic from class number eight is this one. Look. Section number three, where are you from? And the topic for today, it's about Adjectives, adjectives. So this is class number eight and this is the teacher's name in case that you don't remember my name, right? So class number eight, we are going to talk about adjectives. So for example, if I ask you this question, what she like? Or what is he like? Si les hago esta pregunta, what is he like or what is she like? ¿Qué tipo de respuesta vamos a tener? What type of answer are we going to have? Mm -hmm. What she or what is he like? We are going to get an opinion about these people, right? Opinion. So whenever we talk about people, what are we going to use? We need to use adjectives to describe people, okay? So if I ask you what is she like or what is he like, 
I am going to receive an opinion about people. So I need to use adjectives to describe people. In English, we have adjectives to describe people and places too. I can describe people and I can describe places, okay? So, vamos a la plataforma. Veamos que nos toque en la plataforma ahora. Section number three. And we have some exercises. 3.10, it's already over. 3.13, it's about adjectives. So in this picture, we have so many people. They are together. I guess this is a party, right? Or what are they doing? What do you think they are doing? ¿Qué creen que están haciendo en esta picture? What is these people doing? What are they doing? Describiendo. Uh -huh. Okay, they are describing. Well, what is this reunion about? ¿De qué se trata esta reunión? Una fiesta. Okay, I guess, I guess this is a party. Okay. It's a party, right? Because they have food. I can see. Maybe it's a birthday party. Yes, I guess this is a birthday party. So let's find out. Let's listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn adjectives, which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, co-worker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend, John, is really tall. My cousin, Mary, is a little short. My co-worker, Chris, is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. So yes, for today we are going to have this exercise and we are going to leave comments about people. So if you were paying attention, he was mentioning in the video that we have two different type of adjectives. ¿Qué? ¿Cuáles son los tipos de adjetivos que él mencionó? There are two different type of adjectives to describe people. Very, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heavy, funny, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but very, those, okay, great. Those are examples. Esos son ejemplos, pero hay dos categorías, two categories of adjectives. We have adjectives yes, yes. to describe. Wait, miren. Personality. And we also have adjectives to describe appearance. Appearance, appearance, like this. Personalidad y apariencia. Son dos cosas distintas. So we have adjectives to describe people, about people's appearance, and also personality, okay? So we can also have 
positive comments about people and we can also have, of course, negative comments about people. So let's identify examples about positive adjectives to describe people and also negative adjectives. For example, is this one positive or negative? What do you think? Positive. Okay, positive. intelligent. She is very intelligent. Or a synonym for intelligent is smart. smart. Podemos decir mejor smart. She is smart. smart. He is smart. smart. Can you give me some examples about positive adjectives to describe people? What examples do you have? Serious. Okay. I guess that is not negative, but okay, let's say that people can be serious. Mm -hmm. Creo que eso sería negativo, creo. Quizás no negativo. Pero, pero no creo que positivo. Pero no positivo, ajá, exactly. ¿Qué piensan? Pongámoslo en otra categoría, como un extra, ¿ok? Serious, like this one. Que no le hallamos la categoría, pero si sí es un adjetivo. He's a serious girl. Any other? Otro ejemplo. Funny. Beautiful. There Funny. we go. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful y pretty es lo mismo. Yes, it is the same. She is a pretty girl. Yeah. She is a beautiful girl. Yes, it's the same. Friendly. Mm -hmm. Friendly, let me do this one. Voy a mover estos dos. So beautiful, it's a synonym for beautiful and pretty. Uh, did you say friendly? Yes, yes, friendly. Okay, let's have just five examples. Intelligent, smart, beautiful, pretty and friendly. How about negative comments about people? For example, look at this one. He is an ugly boy. She is an ugly girl. I don't think this is positive. This is a negative comment about people. Do you have some other examples about negative comments? Angry. Exactly. He is an angry teacher or she is an angry teacher. Enojado, angry, right. Any other? Nice thing. Can you spell that? Oh, lazy. Like this one. Teacher, yes. how do you say tacaño? Uh, how do you say, wow, eso es bien fuerte. How do you say tacaño? Do you know? <laughs> Alguien sabe, how do we say? Stingy. 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 There we go. Stingy. How do you spell that? Mm -hmm. Sting. Sting. Hmm? Do you know how do we spell this one? Tacaño in English. Yes? No. No. Yes, remember to practice. Remember, we need to practice spelling as well, right? So, S T I N G Y. That's it. So, what is a stingy? Tacaño. He's ugly, angry, lazy, stingy. Let's have the last one. ¿Cuál más podemos poner? Eh, perezoso, o sea, como de dormir mucho. ¿Cómo mm -hmm. se sería? Ok, es lazy. No una persona que duerme. Ah, ahí está ya, lazy, lazy. Aragán, perezoso. He is very lazy. He doesn't <laughs> like <laughs> Otro. Bad. Mm -hmm. Bad, ok. Me parece también un adjetivo. He's a bad person, right? Bad. Puede ser buena. O good es positivo. So, miren I am sure. Now, what are we going to do? I am just going to give you five examples of positive and negative adjectives. But right now, 
let's no. identify. Ustedes me van a dar otros, pero wait, lo van a hacer en grupos. But now, let's do this one. Let's do the following. With this color, we are going to identify the adjectives that describe personality. ¿Cuáles consideran ustedes que describen personality? La personalidad de la gente. Uh -huh. Is intelligent for personality or appearance? Personality. Ah, okay. Intel personality. Personality. Smart. Is this for personality or for appearance? Personality. Okay, great. What do you think about beautiful? Beautiful. Um, oh, so this is not for personality. Let's have mm -hmm. this one with a different color. Pretty, is this for appearance or for personality? Appearance. 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 Ah, okay, appearance as well. Friendly, is this for personality or for appearance? Personality. She's a friendly girl. He's a friendly boy. Yes. Look. Mm -hmm. Now let's do the same with the negative adjectives or comments. Ugly. Is this for personality or appearance? Appearance. appearance. Okay. Yes. We refer about appearance. Angry. He's angry. She's angry. Appearance too. Is this for appearance or personality? What do you think? Personality. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is not appearance. This is about personality. Lazy. Mm, personality? Personality. Oh, yes, right. Exactly. Because laziness, we cannot see laziness. No podemos ver la laziness, right? Stingy. Stingy. Personality. And bad. What do you think about bad? Uh, personality. Personality. The same. So, look, we have so oh, many man. examples about personality or negative. And serious, that we don't know if this is positive or negative. Is this for personality or appearance? Appearance. appearance. <clears throat> um, personality. I don't know. He's serious. Personality? No. Appearance. I don't know. Usted dice. Appearance or personality? Es como 50 50. <laughs> Both, right? Ah, fíjense que tiene lógica. Puede ser ambas. Because we uh -huh. can see. Podemos verla. Pero ¿qué uh -huh. si anda mascarilla? Ah, we don't know. <laughs> So, I guess this is about personality, yes. Because someone who is serious, he or she is always going to be serious, right? Alguien que es smiley, sonriente, siempre va a estar smiley, right? Smiley, right? So, if you want, you can copy these examples. I can give you one minute. So, you can write these examples. Because you are going to give me some other examples, but let's have this minute. Tengan un minuto para escribir los ejemplos. And you're not. Okay. Let's write examples. And tell me, teacher, I finish if you finish copying this example. Did you finish? Finish. Finish. Yes, finish. finish, teacher. Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay. 
You know, I'm trying to look. Estoy tratando de buscar si serious is for personality <coughs> or appearance. But it doesn't say. Es como es que algo, <coughs> para mí es un 50-50, tanto personal como la apariencia, porque a veces parecemos serios, pero no lo somos. Uh -huh. It says, dice que es para describir el carácter de alguien. So yes, it's about personality. Es personal, you know, personality. Serious, it's about personality. It's not about appearance. So there we have the information. And I have so many other examples, <coughs> many, many other examples that I'm going to give you the examples later on. So can I stop sharing the screen? ¿Puedo dejar de compartir? Yes, no? Yes. 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 Yeah, yes. because remember, cuando dejo de compartir mi pizarra, se borra lo que he escrito. So that's why I'm asking you, can I stop sharing? Here we go. What are we going to do right now? What happened to your cameras? I have six students without cameras right now. I don't really want to mention names. So cameras on, thank you. Cameras on, please. If not, you're going to participate right now. Sara, Maritza, Mayra, Eric, Delmis. Yes, Susana, tell me, please. Sí, teacher, yo tengo un problema con la cámara. Es que está lloviendo, entonces la señal está mala. Y cuando la enciendo, se escucha más interferencia. Entonces, no sé si solo por ahora. Ah, ok, but very good. But remember, we need to express that we are having problems. Tengo que expresar siempre para saber qué pasó. Yes, tell me. Teacher, buenas noches. Yes, hi. Buenas noches. Hey Maritza, I'm listening. Yes, tell. Eh, fíjese de que eh, fíjese que yo pedí autorización para entrar sin cámara a la clase porque estoy de turno y entonces trabajo en un hospital y no puedo eh, mostrar eh, por la privacidad, verdad, de los pacientes. Okay. Entonces, por favor, teacher, oye. Okay, so you see, llevamos ocho clases y no sabía esa información. Clases, siempre comenten. Okay, si no. Eh, yo mandé, mandé, este, quizás me equivoqué, pero me dijeron de que sí podía entrar sin, sin la cámara. Entonces, este, uh -huh. y también escribí en el grupo del chat. Okay. Y busqué su número y como en la carrera no, lo, no logré enviar el, el mensaje directamente a usted. Ah, okay, disculpa so... del caso, sí. No, don't worry. Gracias, Marisa, en serio, por dejarme saber. Eh, bueno, por eso les digo, que comuniquemos qué pasa. Gracias, Marisa, no se preocupe. Ok, ¿Y los gracias. demás? ¿Qué pasó? How about the rest? Teacher. Yes, yo le voy a grupo a WhatsApp. Here. You know. Porque igual, uh -huh. acá donde estoy, está lloviendo algo ah, muy fuerte fine. y tengo mala señal. Y, y incluso no le he escuchado muy bien la clase porque pierdo señal. Ah, okay, okay. So, thank you. And the rest? Teacher, este... Yes, Sara? Yo, yo le escribí ayer, perdón, por la razón por la cual no me conecté ayer y hoy, fíjese que yo estoy pasando por un estado febril en el cual no me encuentran, que es lo que me está dando la fiebre, uh -huh. y yo me encuentro bastante mal, pero me escribió Paola Iglesias. Ya, yeah, Paola. Y yo le, yo, yo le expliqué, ¿verdad? Incluso tengo la incapacidad, porque estoy incapacitada, mi temperatura son nocturnas, entonces créame, yo ahorita ando un dolor de cabeza, sí, no, pero ella me on. dijo que me conectara porque querían siempre la asistencia, pero yes. que no conectara cámara porque estoy acostada, ¿verdad? Y estoy escuchando. So, excellent. So, you know what we do this. Eh, les hemos dicho que a veces auditan nuestras clases, ven el video de la clase completo para ver, y por eso les digo, es bueno que expresemos y que quede la evidencia. Y... No solo tal vez en el chat de WhatsApp, porque ahí no pueden ir y revisar el chat de 16 días, que a veces es mucha información. Si no, tampoco lo dejemos en el chat acá de Zoom, porque solo me queda a mí el chat. Pero la grabación queda para todos. Por eso les digo, si vamos a tener ese tipo de inconvenientes, justifiquémoslo para que quede reflejado qué está pasando y que no quede como que ustedes eh, no quieren acceder a las reglas. Recuerden que la beca, las únicas exigencias que se les ha pedido es que 
¿Cuáles son? Si sí, sí les explicó. Eh, cámaras encendidas, cámaras y, encendidas y, y la asistencia. Y asistencia, son dos requisitos. Entonces, que no vayan a pensar de que es por falta de voluntad y así no quieran pues renovar eh, la, la beca para el siguiente módulo. Ok, solo eh, bueno explicarlos. Creo que por ser módulo 1, eh, vienen varias indicaciones a veces, pero luego nos vamos a acostumbrar. Módulo 2 y 3, ya van a saber perfectamente cómo se trabaja. Yes. Hola, buenas noches, teacher y compañeros. Hi, Eric. Hola, eh, teacher, yo le escribí a su WhatsApp personal, ¿verdad? Pero eh, para dejar falta que dar a clase, yo ahorita sí me encuentro con un fuerte dolor de cabeza que desde oh el trabajo lo, lo he traído así. Entonces, yes. eh, <ríe> pasó que casi unas de 12 a 15 horas pegado a una pantalla al día junto con I esas know. clases. Así que... Eh, o sea, me está tocando pesado por las cuestiones del trabajo, que es okay. contabilidad y las declaraciones de impuestos. Pues, yes. no tienen algo. I can imagine. Algo pesado, pero acá sí pendiente de la clase, teacher. Si no Thank participo you. mucho, no, pero you know, acá sí pendiente. Muchísimas gracias. No, you know, on the other hand, al contrario, agradecer siempre el esfuerzo que están haciendo. Créanme que para mí, tener siempre los grupos completos es un privilegio de parte de ustedes y su esfuerzo. So, class. Let's go and work. Vámonos a trabajar. Five minutes or two to three minutes. Think about adjectives. Todos los que puedan imaginarse. ¿Qué adjetivos y qué ejemplos tenemos para describir people's appearance and personality? Veamos acá. Let's make big groups so you can talk to your classmate. Traten de elegir varios adjetivos y luego los clasificamos. Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes? Sí, está yes, claro. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Let's go and work. Let's go and work. Mm -hmm. yes. Think about adjectives. Please. Excellent. Great. Hola, se me escucha. Hola. Hola. Hi. ¿Entendieron? ¿Entendieron qué vamos a hacer? Yes. Yo no. Escribe? ¿Lo vamos a escribir, Liz? ¿O solamente lo vamos a mencionar? Pregunta nada más. Yes, please write. So, ya bien, les digo, questions, no, teacher, ninguna pregunta, no questions, teacher. We are going to write or think about adjectives. Piensen en otros adjetivos, como los que yo les di en el ejemplo. ¿Qué otros adjetivos podemos tener? Luego, los clasificamos. Adjectives for personality and adjectives for appearance. Y sí, escribámoslos. Es bueno escribir, ¿ok? Let's do it right now. Hey. Adjective. Cool. Yes, it's correct pronunciation, Miss. Cool. Aburrido. Bore, boring, boring. Boring. Yeah, boring. Yes. Candy. Amable. Candy. Kind. Oh, kind. Kind. Yes. Oh. kind. Pueden deletrearlo para que los compañeros también sepan cómo se hace. Please. How do you spell kind? Amable in English. Mm. 
K-I-N-D. Very good job. Generous también. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And happy, what is it? Yes, happy, it's another example. Mm -hmm. Obliging, atento. Atento. Okay. Obliging. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you girls, do you have examples? No? Think about examples, please. Continue working. Is Neri? Neri? Selfish. Me gusta ese kind. Selfish. Yes, selfish. Este, busca también unos negativos. ¿Por qué? Falta. Ah, ya nos están llamando. No, no. Amable. Bajo, alto. Mm, sí. Sí. Bajo sería el negativo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sure. Finish. Independent. Yeah, let's have, let's have. Uh, yeah. like three or six examples no tantos ejemplos, five five examples por el tiempo, ok ok, finish great, so did you finish girls? how many examples do you have? Five examples? Siete. Ocho. Oh, eight. Wow, that's a lot. So, vámonos de regreso. Let's go back to the main group. Where are your classmates? No se vinieron los classmates. Let's see. Vamos a pedir que salgan de las salas. Here we go. Siempre les digo, okay. vámonos a la sala principal. Creo que, no, no me siguen. Creo que esperan el mensajito. De los exactly. Segundos. Ah, uh, there they come. They are coming now. Excellent. Very good. So if you see, I ask you to work with your classmates and think about new examples. Why do I do this? ¿Por qué hago esto? Para activar conocimientos. ¿Qué si ustedes ya conocen más adjetivos? You can share the information with your classmates. Por eso hacemos ese tipo de trabajo. Pero teacher, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Me veo obligado a buscar cómo se dice en inglés, ¿ok? So this is a very good technique. So you see, let's continue talking about adjectives. Before you give me your examples, I want you to show you the picture again. Picture from the platform. So we can identify Look. Aquí está la picture. Let me show you the picture that we have in this exercise. And let me ask you, do you have the same examples or do you have different examples? Aquí tenemos muchos ejemplos. Paul. I have oh, different. Uh -huh. You have different, okay. So, veamos, escuchémoslos a ustedes primero. What are your adjectives? You see, ya no tenemos los ejemplos anteriores. Yes, Noemi, give me your adjectives or examples. Just one example, please. Uh, for personality, 
Romantic person. Exactly. Romantic. Um, lucky person. Uh, good looking, like this one. Uh -huh. Que se ven bien, good looking. Very good. Okay. Thank you for your uh, examples. Yes, okay. yes. Do you have some other? Um, no? For appearance. Ah, you have for appearances. Okay, give me the examples for appearance. Youth and attractive. Appearance. Can you repeat that, please? Youth. Cute. Like it's this cute. one. Yes. Oh. And attractive. 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 So, ¿qué piensan de cute? Clase sería appearance o personality. She is cute. Personality. Uh, personality. Lo cambiamos de lugar. Yes. Yes. Y aquí, attractive será ese de appearance o personality. Uh, a eso sí está bien. So, hagamos un cambio. Great. Uh, Karen, Jamilex, do you have examples? Mm -hmm. uh, your microphone. Selfish. Mm -hmm. Selfish. Selfish. Is that for personality or appearance? Uh, personal. Personal. Selfish. ¿Saben qué es selfish? Selfish. Selfish. Ah, egoísta. Selfish. No, exactly. It's about personality. Boring. Wow. Boring. Is this for personality or appearance? Personality. personality. Bien, wow, tenemos mucho de personality y no de appearance. Let's see, ¿quién tiene de appearance? Who can have some examples about appearance? Presentable. Okay. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry, similar to attractive. Yes, how do you spell that? Fat. Fat. Ah, puede ser, puede ser skinny. También skinny. Tall. Fit. Ah. That's it. No hay más. Fat, skinny, fit. Uh -huh. Sí. Es, es responsable. Pero estamos hablando de apariencia ahorita. Appearance, appearance. Tall. ¿Mm? Es short. Short, ok. Tall. Short. And what is the opposite? Tall. Very good job. Well, you can include these adjectives to your list. Incluyanlo en su lista también. Romantic, good looking, cute, selfish, boring, attractive, fat, skinny, fit, short, and tall. Now that we have all of these examples, if you see in the platform, we have a recommendation. Nos da una recomendación. Que vamos a hacer oraciones. Tanto adjetivos. What is the formula? Oraciones en presente. Look at this example. He plus verb to be. And then we have the adjective. Really? Pongámosle really tall. Okay, he is really tall, okay? Look at the second example. 
something. Okay. Look at the other example. He is short. Can you give me some other examples? She is thin. So, ¿cuál sería la fórmula que vamos a utilizar? Identifiquémosla. What is the formula? Subject. Verb to be. Más. Complement. Adjective. El adjetivo. She is tall. She is short. She is thin. So what are we going to do? Look. Yes, I did it. Yo lo hice, okay? Be careful with your microphones, please. My friend John is really tall. My co-worker Look at these examples. Son como oraciones más elaboradas. No solo decimos él es alto. No, le agregamos más información. My friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. So in English, we have two expressions that it's going, they are going to be useful. For example, miren esta expresión, really, and little. Really sería muy, muy. She is really beautiful. Es no bonita, es muy bonita. She is intelligent. She is really intelligent. Miren, ella es inteligente. No, ella es muy inteligente. So, whenever we use the expression really, we are going to, eh, en este caso, realzar la información. You are intelligent. No, you are really intelligent. Okay. And we also have the expression very, very and pretty, they can be synonyms. Estas dos pueden ser sinónimos. Pueden usar really and very. Podemos decir, he is very tall. He is really tall. Okay. Little, little. He is a little heavy, un poquito, un poquito. No es mucho, es un poquito. She is a little talkative, un poquito blantín. She is a little shy, es un poquito tímida, ¿ok? Es un poquito. ¿Ven la diferencia entre really y little? Un poquito, mucho, ¿ok? Mucho. Y really es cuando ya es más o queremos dar un realce completo. Really, very, and little. Really, very, and little. So let's make sentences. Estos son como palabras de complemento. Really, very, and ¿Cuál era la otra? Little. Ok, cambiamos esta expresión. Si yo le digo, she is beautiful, utilicemos really para darle realce. She is beautiful. 
Okay, Mina, she's beautiful. 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 No, she's not beautiful. She is really beautiful. Muy bonito. Very, very. You know, he is smart. Utilicemos la expresión very. Él es inteligente. No, he's not smart. He's very smart, teacher. He's very smart. Um, you know. She is shy. Es un poco apenada, un poco callada. No, she, she is. She is, she is a little shy. A little. Okay. Like this one. A little. She is a little shy. Mira. Un poco tímida. Un poco tímida. Un poco tímida. Acá esto nos. Indica que es un, una, un, y luego poco tímido. She is a little shy. No decimos little shy, sino a little shy. Now, I need you to, everybody please. Van a crear una oración con really, una con very y una con little. Y vamos a dejar nuestros comentarios. En el ejercicio 3.13, en la sección de Discussions, ¿cómo agregó un comentario? We are going to click on Add a Post. Vamos acá. Les pide el título. El título sería Adjectives, Adjetivos. Y acá escribimos las preguntas. Look. He is very intelligent. Miren, primera oración, rapidísimo. She is eh, really smart. Um, he is a little shy. ¿Sí? ¿Le hago? Y ahí me aparecen ¿sí? mis comentarios. Les voy a compartir el enlace de la plataforma para que puedan escribir en cinco minutos sus tres ejemplos y esa sería nuestra práctica de ahora. Preguntas cómo hacer oraciones para expresar comentarios o no. Uh -huh. Preguntas como irnos a la plataforma también, no. ¿En Bien. cuál actividad vamos a hacer eso? Es la 3.13, la última actividad, 3.13 en el video. Parte abajo, en la parte de abajo está. ¿Usted lo va a dirigir ahorita o entramos en la plataforma de aquí? Ustedes entran, ahorita les comparto el enlace. Look, este es el enlace de la plataforma. Go to the chat, please. You can click there, go to the platform, and leave your comments, please. Dejemos sus comentarios. Eh, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Serían, serían tres, o sea, una de cada un, un ejemplo. Ok, tal vez por el tiempo pongan una todos. Elijan si van a usar very, little, o... ¿Cuál era la otra? Really, really. Very, little, or really. Elijan una de las tres por el tiempo, ok. Y no se preocupen, si no alcanzamos todos a dejar esos comentarios, asegúrense de dejar los ejemplos en su cuaderno para que no se nos olvide y el lunes que volvamos a preguntar puedan volver a esa información. So, while you are working, mientras trabajan, I'm going to check the attendance list. Here we go. Aquí estamos. June 9th. Chequeamos la asistencia. Auri Joana. Una. América. Sí. 
Tell me Elizabeth. Okay. Eric David. Eric Omar. Okay, Eric David. Eric Omar. Present teacher. Fernando Heriberto. Guadalupe Elena. Iván Alexander. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Karen Yamilet. Present. Karina Alejandra. Present. Catherine Yasmin. Present. Lilian Abigail. Lilian. No. Mayra Xiomara. Present. Marisa Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Natanael Adonai. Tengo las puertas abiertas. Noemí Esperanza. Present. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Santos Carlos. Sara Elizabeth. Present. Present teacher, Santos Carlos. Ok. Sara y Dania. Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Sofía Michelle. Present. Mire, teacher, uh -huh. ¿en qué sección de la plataforma están ahorita? 3.13. 3.13. Ah. Yes. In the ah, video. Uh -huh. El tema es adjective. Susana okay. Elizabeth. Present. Toyita Eunice. Present. Yesenia Carolina. Jocelyn Yvette. Present teacher. Hola Esperanza. Present. Great. Very good job. So continue working. I'm going to check the answers right now. Okay, I'm going to do this. You know, don't forget to have your microphones up. Let's go to the platform. Veamos quienes han comentado ya. Let me see how many comments do I have there. Adjectives to describe people's appearance and personality. Let me check. I'm going to see how many students do I have here. Ah, uh, no, right? It's not this one. It's este, el 3.13. Let me look for the correct one. Discussion forum. Okay. So let me check this one. So this is the last exercise. Miren el último ejercicio de nuestra plataforma de la sección 3. Es este. So here is the place in which you are going to leave your comments in the discussion forum. Okay. Questions about this one. Preguntas del tema que hemos visto ahora, clase. Questions about this topic. ¿Cómo sintieron este tema? Adjectives to describe people's appearance and personality. How did you feel the topic? Easy or difficult? Hmm? Difficult. Difficult. Why? So, hay muchos adjetivos que tenemos que observar de las personas. Mm, ok, so you know. Hay cosas que no las, son unas que no las, bueno, en mi parte yo no conozco algunas. 
solo conozco unas poquitas, las más comunes, pero para, sa eh, para sacar lo que es la conversación en sí, sí está fácil. Exacto. Pero para encontrarle el adjetivo a la persona, pues está un poquito sí. difícil por, por no conocer la pronunciación. Ah, because of pronunciation. So don't sí. worry. ¿Saben qué hagamos algo? Es, es cierto que se termina eh, esta sección este día, pero el lunes podemos tener una lista de adjetivos para que ustedes los escuchen y sepan cómo pronunciarlos. Pero no se preocupen, créanme que van a ir aprendiendo ese vocabulario extra. No se aprende todo en una sola clase, sino que es un aprendizaje constante, ¿ok? Pero por lo menos la idea de cómo formular una oración o dar una opinión sobre alguien, ya la tenemos, ¿verdad? So don't worry, no se me asusten, sí, bueno. hay mucho vocabulario, ya yes, Silvia, en Iván. Igual porque yo este, también, yo siento de que se ve fácil ya formar la oración, pero uh -huh. el problema mío es que no me puedo los adjetivos. Okay. Entonces, por eso es que siento que me cuesta un poco, pero de ahí, usando la fórmula y guiándome con las clases de steps, siento que es más fácil. Excelente. Sí. Don't worry, no se preocupen, eso lo practica. Vamos a seguir practicando. Hay muchos módulos que vienen, muchísimos más. So don't worry. Any other question or comment about this class? No? Don't forget, go to the platform and complete the exercises from section number three. If not, si no hay más preguntas, we are going to stop the class here and we are going to see each other on Monday hasta el lunes, class. Don't forget to practice your English, practice in your notebook, and you can also practice in the platform. So, have a great night, class. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.